please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Oswobi. Yes, good day everybody watching all over the world. This is Face TV Africa. Um, what we are going to discuss today is still about Nigeria. We don't have choice. We need to continue doing that because what is really going on in this country, we don't need to stop. You know, um, we need to be seeing our mind so that our government can do the needful. But now, I came across one video, uh, the video dad saying something his experience about Nigerian government official, especially the Ministry of Power. Let me tell you one thing, to, to rebuild this country, to me, I don't think it's, the, it's from the presidency alone. We should not focus, I've been saying this thing, we should not focus on the presidency. There are some people in this country that we need to know, that we need to focus on. Now, we, we are lack of power in this country. We are very lack of power. How many megawatts is Nigeria is generating? How many megawatts? But we see somebody that wants to build about 1,200 1, megawatts. And because you want to use your influence and you want to use your power, you are trying to delay that person. I watched the video of the video that saying that he, want, he's doing, he needs some proposal and they wanted to collect the environmental approval or something. I'm going to play that video. But it was something next to me when, they, when, some, when a, a, a minister, I don't know maybe he's a minister, but I think that, that person is a boss in that, uh, in that ministry, saying that he's going to make sure that he did not collect that permit. Where Nigerians are suffering of power, where we are suffering of... Because I don't understand, I don't know why people are just trying to show themselves. And meanwhile, we Nigerians were going to focus on the presidency. Accepted that what they are doing at the top two is not really going smoothly, fine, it's not, it's not something we want. But we should not focus on the top alone. I've said this several times. All these are our ministers. They are also bad people. Most, not, most of them, let's say 90, 98% of them, they don't have the Nigerians at heart. They, are, they only care about themselves. They only care about themselves. Because I don't know the reason why you will see somebody that wants to build 1,200 megawatts. What? And you want to delay that kind of that kind of project, which you know that if this person build this kind of thing, it's going to favor Nigerians. So because you want to use your power, you want to use your influence, so you want to stop that kind of thing, that kind of project. The project that you know that is going to help the masses, Mr. President, please you need to reshuffle your cabinet, Mr. Atinubu. Because I don't understand. He no shele. I'm pushing shele. Kaka kiri ministry niye. You will see somebody that want to do projects. Emma delay for what? I don't understand. Are we not tired of this? <sighs> what is really going on in this country? Somebody want to build one thousand two hundred megawatt uh, power station. How many megawatts in Nigeria is generating? Tell me. How many megawatts? If, that, if that's 1,200, ha, ah, God. I'm going to play that video because when uh, Mr. Deji Adeleke was analyzing that thing, I was like, so somebody in that ministry can stop somebody like that. But at the end of the day, something happened to that person. Please let us work this thing together. Let's watch this together and see what later happened to that person. I'm in the electricity business. I own um, power plants. I generate presently about 15% of the electricity need for Nigeria. I have uh, Chinese engineering companies that work for me. I'm building almost completed by January, by the grace of God, uh, my new power plant that will be the biggest thermal plant in Nigeria. It's a 1,250 megawatts power plant will become operational 
in January. But during the course of the design and getting all the permits, we ran into difficult government officials for environmental reasons our permit was denied. The particular government official that I held a meeting with told me to my face that this, your project, will never see the light of day. But while he was saying that, I was saying in my mind that this guy is talking as if he's God. <laughs> and because you are not God, I couldn't say it out, but I was saying it in my mind that God listened to him. Because he's not God, whatever he's, he has, whatever he's saying is null and void. I'm not going to be worried about it. So I left, disappointed of course, and I told my Chinese friend that look, unfortunately, we have these difficulties and it seems that it's going to be a while before we can get this going again. Meanwhile, you see, 1,250 megawatts power plant price tag is about 2 billion US dollars. So it's not small money. So in the process, a lot of money has already gone into design and the preliminaries before we got to the stage where we must have the environmental um, permit before we can break ground. So my Chinese friend said, what are we going to do now? This is very serious because the Afro-Exim Bank of China was involved. And that might have you know, meant bankruptcy for him, for his company, because they have invested so much with me in, in, in this. So I told him not to worry that everything's going to be all right. And um, he said that he's worried. Do you know somebody that can take you to the president or to speak to someone? I said, don't worry about it. That everything was going to be okay. And he said, are you sure? He said, no, no I'm not going to do this on, on this. On the, I'm coming to see you. It seems that you've, you found a solution, so I'm coming to see you. So while on his way, I got on my knees and I prayed about it. And I asked God to make all things well. And I, so when my friend came to me face to face, he said, that, yes, Mr. Chairman, um, he called me Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, so what is the solution uh, about this? It seems you are not worried. I said, I'm not worried because I've prayed about it. And God is going to make it right. My friend became very upset with me. <laughs> he said, God cannot do this. Just for, this is not about God now. This is not about your church. Please, Mr. Chairman, put this aside. We are talking serious issues now. <laughs> and I said, that is the only way I know to go about it. On the Sabbath, it was like on Thursday, Friday I prayed about it. On Sabbath, I prayed as, as I always do and presented this issue before God Almighty. And I challenged God and I said, God, see, my friend said you cannot do this. So please show up. Not only to convince my Chinese friend, but also the government official that is trying to block us. Let him know that you are God Almighty and there's none like you. Amen. So I continue to pray about it. The following week, on a Wednesday, I got a call from the Ministry of Power that I should come to the minister's office. So I went. And I was handed over my permit. Amen. 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 I didn't know what happened. All I did was pray about this. 
So I looked. So I asked one of the officials, what exactly happened? Why am I collecting this from this office and not the other office? And the person told me that the particular government official that wanted to block us took heel and that he was flown to Germany for treatment. And that some of the applications for permit for other types of uh, factories, not electricity, was sitting on his table and that his boss, somebody that knew his boss, the top person. I'm using the word because I don't want to say exactly the, the office. So his boss now said he should bring all the f applications to his table since he was not there. So my application was one of those that was taken. And his boss wrote on my own application, this is, this is a very good proposal. We need electricity as we need the air. This should, this should be encouraged, and I want a report on the progress of this project every quarter. So that was why I was called to come and pick up from the minister's office the permit. So when I saw my Chinese friend, and I told him that we have the permit already, he said, what did you do? I said, I prayed. That's what I did. He said, he didn't believe me. He said, did you, did you bribe anybody? I said, I did not. It's even dangerous. I can't even bribe people at that level. He said, so you believed your, your prayer? I said, I said, yes. He said, what happened? I said, the, that other guy took heel and he was flown outside for treatment and he said did you ask your god to make him sick i said no <laughs> i did not ask my god to make him sick um i just prayed and that all i know is that all things work together for good for those who love god so i told him it was god that did it thereafter something stuck to the mind of my friend who did not believe in God. Anytime we run into any challenges during the process of building this uh, huge power plant, he became not, he was no more worried. Well, he tells me that, Chairman, when you go to church on Saturday, report to your God, okay? <laughs> and I will show him that on Saturday, on the Sabbath, when I go to the church, to church, I'm going to report to the Lord. And I don't know if it has worked for you, but it has always worked for me. That it seems that prayers that are, that are said on the Sabbath are answered faster <laughs> than other prayers. And like the story I told you before, over the years, that sermon from that Catholic priest has always talked with me. I've had rumors about church leaders, elders doing, so, doing all kinds of things, but it has not affected me. Because I've, I've always said to myself that we are all human beings. That anybody can be tempted, and I'm not, I'm not going to allow any behavior of a pastor or a president or whatever in the church to affect my focus. Because my focus is our Lord Jesus Christ. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Who's